Our, our devotional is very short this morning. We just are um, rejoicing in Christ. The message last night, Wednesday, here was very good. It was about maintaining um, God, maintaining our lives. We said that <clears throat> we have to maintain machines, uh, technology. Uh, we have to maintain um, our health. We maintain uh, um, in our study, our science, our work at a hospital. We maintain. We have to keep things moving. We maintain a project. We invest always for maintenance. Uh, if you think of a car needing maintenance, tires, windshield, wiper, fluid, oil, gas, um, maintaining, washing it, cleaning it, maintaining. In the, the better the car, the more the, the maintenance has to be uh, precise and uh, knowledgeable how to keep it going. If I don't, then, then I pay later. You know, that happens. So we must, we maintain our physical body. So many people are occupied with what they eat, um, maybe their appearance, um, their uh, health, and we understand that, and that's fine. But not maintaining my soul, not feeding on the right things. We feed on the Lamb of God. We have a spiritual life. We maintain. Actually, God maintains us. He's the good shepherd. We are the sheep, and he leads us in and out, and we find pasture leads us beside the still waters. He restores our soul. He washes our feet at the, at the Last Supper. And he told Peter, I have to. I have to wash your feet. Main, meaning, I have to maintain your life. I have to care about you. Then we must maintain ourselves by our decisions what thoughts we embrace, what's important in our hearts, to feed our hearts in faith, to live by faith. And then we must, in the body, care for each other, maintaining the body, not by the flesh, of course, or by our own design or purpose, or for our ego. But we are members of the body, drinking the, the same spirit, using our gifts to build up and edify, to sharpen the countenance of a friend. Proverbs 27, um, we are to teach, um, we are to equip the saints, we are to uh, see the body fitly framed together, growing and increasing with the increase of God. I am concerned that in our country and maybe worldwide there's a political atmosphere news and information uh, that can affect your soul you must maintain your soul and keep it in the love of god jude, jude um, uh, 21 keep yourself in the love of god praying in the holy spirit uh, very important. So this is this was our message yesterday, and uh, it was excellent. It really was a great time, a lot of joy. Humor, we mentioned in that message, the importance of humor and the wisdom that comes with it, and wisdom and wit, wisdom and wit, or humor, lightness, thanksgiving, rejoicing always. And our culture is in God. You, we have our country, but then we have our subculture where we have where we really live. Where we we really live is with loving each other, talking to each other, caring about each other, rejoicing together. This is where we live. The media, the um, technology brings us into other spheres where we really can't change things there. We don't have a voice, and it's not edifying. But in our community is where we are edified. Our family, our cares, our vision, our mission, 
this Saturday we have a Zoom meeting at noon our time um, worldwide where we talk about this coming summer and prayers for summer harvest. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless. Wow.